Just a few days after, the Enforcement Directorate arrested Delhi Chief Minister Arvind Kejriwal. Now another AAP leader is under ED's lens. The Enforcement Directorate has summoned Delhi Minister Kailash Gehlot for questioning today regarding a money laundering case linked to the now defunct excise policy. Kailash Gehlot has complied with summons and appeared before the ED. Remember earlier, AAP leaders Manish Sisodia and Sanjay Singh were apprehended by the ED in connection with the case and they are currently in judicial custody. I think that this is also the case that the ED record has come to the record that Raghav Magunta and his father Magunta Shrivasanu Reddy are both from the Bharati Janta Party and NDA are directly related to इस चीज की जांच भी ईडी करे मैं समझता हूं वर्षों से इन लोगों के एक दूसरे को फोन कॉल्स जो हैं वो मौजूद होंगे इन लोगों का रिश्ता मौजूद होगा इसके अंदर छोटी मोटी भी इन्वेस्टिगेशन होगी तो सब दूध का दूध पानी का पानी साफ हो जाएगा भारतीय जनता पार्टी को अरविंद केजरीवाल के खिलाफ स्टेटमेंट नहीं मिलती वो इस केस के हर गवाह को प्रताड़ित करते रहते हैं इफ यू डोंट रिसीव नोटिस आई गेट सरप्राइज रिसीविंग नोटिस इज नो लॉन्गर ए शॉकिंग और सरप्राइजिंग डेवलपमेंट इनफैक्ट इफ अ डे पास इज विदाउट गेटिंग अ नोटिस यू बिगिन टू वंडर वॉट इज हैपनिंग All right, of course, uh, that's uh, Jairam Ramesh who's also gone on to uh, react. But essentially over here, the latest that we do know is that clearly ED Lens is currently on Kailash Gehroth. Remember, this is his first summon by the central agency. But important to note the timing of the same because remember, we've been seeing a lot of the AAP uh, leaders, ministers who have not really been questioned but also continue to remain in jail, whether for the matter uh, we talk about uh, Delhi CM Arvind Kejriwal, the former Deputy CM of Delhi, Manish Sodia. Let me go across to my colleague uh, Bhavatosh to get us more inputs about this. Bhavatosh, good afternoon. As far as the fact that Kailash Gelot, of course, has uh, complied with this particular summon, it's the first summon, but if you could help us understand the role that the ED is potentially trying to uh, kind of establish with him in the alleged excise policy case. As far as uh, this, uh, uh, the role of uh, Kailash Gelot is concerned, uh, his role has been mentioned uh, in the prosecution complaints and the court documents that have been submitted by the enforcement directorate. Having said that, he is not an excuse in the case, but uh, what uh, ED has said is that he was part of the group of ministers that, uh, in fact, prepared the excise policy, uh, and that excise policy, that draft excise policy, was allegedly leaked to the South Group, uh, who, according to the enforcement directorate, paid kickbacks worth at least 100 crore rupees at the behest of uh, Delhi CM Arvind Kejriwal and Manish Sisodia, who had already been arrested in this case. But the other charge against him was that uh, he let his official residence to be used by uh, Vijay Nair. And uh, ED had, in fact, asked CBI to pursue a criminal case, but uh, CBI had so far not registered a criminal case in this matter. Uh, ED had also said, like, uh, other accused in this case, uh, 36 other individuals in this case, he also, in fact, had changed his mobile phone handset, and they claimed that this was done uh, deliberately, primarily to, de uh, to delete the digital data or evidence of digital data, because uh, most of the accused who are connected with this case, uh, they all had done so in a very calculated and in a in a in a calculated and planned manner. But Kailash Kailash, in fact, uh, spoke to Times Network when uh, Arvind Kejriwal's custody was being sought for the second time around, and he completely denied and debunked all the claims that were levelled against uh, Arvind Kejriwal and Nama party. Uh, his questioning started at around 11.30 and uh, ED has so far officially not said as to why he has been summoned after 18 to 19.